We want to estimate each square root by rounding to the nearest hundredths. So we'll be using the calculator for these problems. So for the square root of eight, we'll press second x squared, which brings up the square root. Press eight, close parenthesis, and press enter. Running to the hundredths, this is going to be approximately 2.83. Now the reason this is the approximate square root of eight is because if we square 2.83, it should be approximately equal to eight. So let's go ahead and check that. So if we square 2.83, we did round up, so it's going to be a little bit larger than eight, but notice how it is very close to eight. The next example, we have the square root of 62. So we're looking for the decimal approximation of a number squared that's going to equal approximately 62. And since 62 is close to 64, and the square root of 64 is equal to eight, we should expect this value to be a little bit less than eight. So second x squared 62. We'll round this to the nearest hundredth, so we'll say it's approximately 7.87. Which means if we square 7.87, it should be approximately equal to 62. Let's check this as well. Notice how now we're rounding down, so this value is going to be a little bit less than 62, as we see here. And then for the last example, we have the square root of 4.3. Well, 4.3 is close to four, the square root of four is equal to two, so we can expect this value to be a little bit more than two. So second x squared 4.3. Again, running to the hundredths, we would have approximately 2.07. Which means if we square 2.07, it should be approximately equal to 4.3. Let's check this one as well. And again, we round it down, so this value is a little bit less than 4.3. And we'll go ahead and stop here.